It's keyboard. It's so much fun. You've got to move it. I haven't even done it. Yeah, look, because what works in the other room. So what, just call it back. I'll get it. Oh, I did it. As long as they can find it, it's fine. And you've done it in the logical order. You've done it in the right order. You've done it in the logical order. So, Abby, come on, let's sort this out. Oh, seriously. Zach, can you help me, please? Look at this, Abby. I'm just going to... I looped it. ...throw Abby into the room next door. I just need to change the octave, but it's not there, I mean. On there? Yeah, uh, why have you got that little keyboard? Uh, let me get, I'll get you a better keyboard while I'm there. Yeah. It doesn't show the full title. So an external verifier might just say, well, where's the you know, importing MIDI material. We haven't got a film clip for that. Lack of evidence. Tick box. Okay. So do make sure when they look at it, all the individual skills are clearly shown. By all means, link like ones, but then make sure it's visible from your title uh, straight away. Like your other ones you've done, no position and whatever it is, I can't read it because it's unloading your file at the moment. All right, so by the end of today, there shouldn't be anyone that doesn't have some film clips uploaded. There should be nobody in the room that doesn't have film clips uploaded. Remember, this all has to be finished before the end of next week, okay? Because we really have to start thinking about learning aim B um, and obviously moving forward to that aspect, which is slightly different. It's using these skills, but of course composing, coming up with uh, this uh, advert, this holiday advert, which we've got to do using, using the skills that we've highlighted in this part, okay? So I've got the list here. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, so by the end of this lesson, there should be something attached. And those who haven't named their files properly, that's the first priority today, is to get those named properly so uh, we know, actually know what they are. So if you're importing MIDI files from the internet, cool. remember, Sibelius automatically yeah, imposes itself upon you as you try to open that MIDI file. Just let it open in Sibelius, close Sibelius, quit Sibelius, open GarageBand, and of course you just do open in GarageBand, and it will import your MIDI file. How do you get more to it? The blog, showme.com.